In this video, I've got another do-it-yourself taxidermy project coming your way. I'll show you how to make a turkey fan mount display. If you harvested a nice bird this turkey season and would like to both honor the memory of such a fine creature as well as immortalize a great day in the woods long after your bird has been eaten, then doing a tail fan display mount such as this one is a great way to do so. There are dozens of different tail fan mounting display kits on the market these days from many different taxidermy manufacturers but I've always especially liked the ones that look more like the actual bird instead of just the tail feathers. I've done several mounts over the years with a kit that you can get from Van Dyke's taxidermy supply, which I really like, but in this video I'll be using one that's a little bit different, which I got from Mackenzie taxidermy supply. This one features the bird in more of a side angle, which will be perfect for this particular turkey, as it had two beards. But whether you want to use a mounting kit like one of these, or any other one though, the process of preparing the tail fan feathers is pretty much the same. For this first step in preparing the tail fan, you'll need a couple layers of cardboard, some long pins, and some salt or borax. To begin, carefully remove the tail section from the bird after you have the rest of your turkey field dressed, and spray down the feathers heavily with some alcohol to kill any bugs or insect eggs which could hatch and come back later to damage the feathers. Next, cut away as much remaining tissue as you can from around the base of the feathers, leaving just a thin layer, and then pin the feathers to the cardboard in the manner that you'd like to display them. Now take your time with this step and make sure you get it exactly how you want it to look when finished as once the fan is completely dried out, it's pretty well going to permanently be in that position. After you have the fan pinned in place, rub a heavy coat of borax or salt into the base of the feathers and change it every few days as it dries out the tissue. In a similar manner, carefully remove the beard from your turkey at the base and place it in a cup of salt or borax. Now I won't be using the spurs in this particular mount, but I will be saving them for my wild man necklace, so I cut them off with a hacksaw, remove the tendons, and put them in some salt as well. As the tail fan and beard are drying, I like to get the mount ready to go. Now you can use a mount kit like this one right out of the box, but I like to spruce it up a bit and make it look more realistic. You need at least three different shades of color to make something look lifelike with taxidermy work. So I like to paint some light bronze and black highlights onto the mount to give the feathers more of a realistic look, as you can see here. After the remaining tissue around the fan base and beard has dried out for a week or two, it's ready to be mounted. Now there are different ways that you can do this, but I like to use good old Bondo to permanently secure and seal the tail fan. I first mix up a small batch and work it into the backside of the tail fan, paying close attention to getting the Bondo in between the feather bases, as you can see here. And when it's dry, I flip the fan over and do it again on the front portion to hold it all together. Next, I secure the fan to the back of the mount with some drywall screws and attach the beard, or in this case, the beards, with a hot glue gun. I also added an extra piece of wood to make the mount a little more secure for hanging on the wall, and then attach the hanging device. After it was all done, I gently preened and dusted the feathers to clean them up a bit more and make them look as nice as I could, and then hung it on the wall. And there you have it my friends, that's how to make a nice looking display of your bird with one of these handy dandy turkey fan mounting kits. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the 3 Minutes Outdoors website at 3minutesoutdoors.com.